I know you say you get used to it. I know you say it's good learning experiences and all that, but is there any point where this deja vu just sort of gets to you that it keeps happening over and over again, or the fact is you're finding ways where it really counters that? Look, uh, you know, some nights are different, but we're facing a team that really defends well. They're a possession-oriented team, very similar to us, so you're not thinking that this is going to be a blowout uh, type game. This is going to be a, a game you're going to have to compete for the full 48, uh, if not longer, and you're, you're going to have to do some things well. Um, um, so I think, you know, our group is uh, uh, smart enough to understand uh, that uh, and the challenge, um, and we're just into the grind. I mean, there were a lot of different skirmishes going back and forth the entire game. Um, you know, when it gets to the last three or four minutes and it's a possession game, because of the experiences, our, our, at least we understand what our packages are, you know, what we want to do from an execution standpoint. Guys feel at least uh, comfortable enough to be able to execute uh, under that kind of context and pressure. Um, and uh, and then, you know, that that helps, but that doesn't guarantee anything, you know. Um, but I, 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 I enjoyed the way we... Uh, Competed and, and also, you know, defended going down the stretch. Um, there are a lot of key stops. Uh, you know, Bam had a deflection. Jimmy had a just a ridiculous steal that I have, I have to go look on the film. You know, I, I, I think he just totally baited that, that steal. Um, it was incredibly savvy uh, on his part, um, just from a next play speed standpoint. Um, but there are a lot of... Uh, key defensive stops uh, going down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Um, you don't see a lot of games like this. Uh, there is a beauty in this, you know, for the aficionados um, when it's highly competitive and it, it's not necessarily 140 to 137. Um, there is a beauty in the competition. What Caleb did tonight against, obviously, a big front court. Just thoughts on, on what he gave you on both ends. Yeah, he, he was so active defensively. Uh, look, we all know you know how explosive Donovan Mitchell is, and Garland uh, just continues to grow. You know, he, he has so much confidence uh, and skill level, uh, but Mitchell is is uh, he's a problem. You know, um, he's so shifty, he's strong. Uh, Caleb was really disciplined uh, in our man and zone, and even that doesn't guarantee anything. Like he can still go for forty or fifty, even when you're doing all the right things. Uh, but his activity level just kind of inspires the group, and, and that, that's the most important thing. When, when Caleb is making plays defensively, it, it ignites other guys. Uh, I think we saw that uh, tonight. And then, you know, the ball tends to find energy. It tends to find karma. It tends to find defensive efforts. Um, and, you know, he made some big shots uh, tonight. Usually Jimmy uh, sort of paced himself to a degree, but it was clear he was needed early and he sort of kept you afloat early. Is that just Jimmy getting a read on the game? Then when it, when it got, you got behind sure. a little bit early, he sort of took his moment? For sure. We were, we were disjointed uh, at the beginning of the game, but that, you have to credit Cleveland. They, they do that to a lot of teams. They're a very good defensive team, so you have to do things with a motor. You have to do it with precision. Uh, you have to make quick decisions, otherwise they can they can bottle you up pretty quickly. And and we were bottled up. We were a little bit um, random, uh, just in terms of you know not getting the ball where we needed to do with enough kind of movement. Uh, I think Jimmy's sensed that, and he just went to work at least just to keep it within striking distance. And then when we brought in the second unit in the in the second quarter, I thought they played really well. Uh, and then Bam. Has been making the floater a lot this season. He would think against Jared Allen, he would do that, but he was playing with force, including that one dunk in the second quarter. He went right, right at him. Was that sort of a, a statement by Bam that he can do that also against size and and the aggression he played with? Yeah, you know, you can control or impose the will on the game, you know, defensively, or you can do it you know, with your assertiveness and aggressiveness offensively, and that's what Jimmy uh, does so well. Uh, you know, particularly when you're on the road, you can you can quiet, you know, buildings if you're if you're attacking, get into the rim, get into the free throw line, um, and Bam just continues to get better, you know, with that kind of assertiveness. And and tonight we needed that, you know, on the road is uh, to have some emphatic plays uh, at the rim. 
I know it's hard in transition because there's a risk. And I always ask you these in three-point games, other team doesn't have a timeout. Was there any message to possibly foul? Do you have a team precept? No. Especially with the look they got at the end. No, and we talk about it all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's a philosophical thing that would be a much deeper conversation. Right. Uh, but I get it. I, I, I see it. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. It's a more general question and kind of relating to tonight, but the standings all around the league, how everything's bunched up, you got teams, you know, all of that are in it, like, except for five right now. Um, do you have kind of maybe a reason that it might be like that this year as opposed to previous years? Just it seems like the competition has just been up on a whole other level as far as teams go. I think it's it's been happening now for uh, three years, two years since the play-in was put in. I, I, I think that's the biggest driver in this. You just have far less teams tanking. Am I allowed to say that word? You know, <laughs> come on, this, this happens in this league. But now you have a bunch of teams that probably weren't necessarily thinking that they would have in either conference that they would have a chance uh, of being in the play-in. And at, they're at this point, you might as well go for it. The experience you get, um, that's just driving uh, the competition level league-wide, and this is the way it should be. Um, you know, we had a, a devastating loss the other night uh, at Charlotte. Uh, and then, you know, to keep it in perspective, we wake up the next morning and, you know, even with only being f- plus five, we had the ninth best record in the league. You know, that that's a head-scratcher to me, you know. Usually you had the, the top teams, maybe a handful of middle teams, and the rest were tanking. That's, that's not the case anymore. And I, I think it's good. I think first 10 fourth quarter possessions didn't end in points, and then he got the big floater from Tyler, then the four point play. How big was that with his explosiveness? Even on nights he's not shooting great, he has those moments. Yeah, Tyler was really important uh, for us. Um, you know, it wasn't a big scoring night, but he hit those two big threes, um, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter. Uh, and his, his pick and roll play, you know, you just have to account for that. Um, and so even when it's not like a, a big scoring output, you know, what is the effect uh, on their defense and having to account for him? And in particular, that, that two-man action between him and, him and Bam. You know, you have to do something with that, and that, that oftentimes can, can leave other guys open. And that was Caleb, but, you know, a handful of times. You, can, you guys are so intentional about building winning habits and well-versed in, in good culture. What sort of habits and culture do you see Cleveland building over there? Yeah, they're doing that. You know, you got to respect what they're doing. You know, what they have is alignment, you know, between the coaching staff and the front office, um, ownership. That's a hard thing to, to do in this league. Uh, but I've known JB for a long time. You, you just know that he's a good coach. He's going to be driving the right things that you want for your program, but you need also um, to have uh, a front office that's going to get in the trench, you know, with you, and they certainly have that right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's nice to see when the best fourth quarter defense in the NBA takes over and allows you guys to get to the right place. What did you like most about that execution down the stretch, particularly on the defensive end? Uh, I just I just like how visibly locked in we were, you know what I mean? I just think that we was uh, locked in on detail and just um, – uh, staying, um, you know, just knowing our matchups, just knowing, uh, you know, what pregame and just going over stuff. And I feel like we were really locked in as a group late, uh, late in the fourth. And the contribution you made on the other end as well. It was interesting because you had so much work to do defensively. And then you're still able to get down on the other end and, and be almost perfect. How, how good did it feel? Uh, I feel really good. I feel like I needed a game like that just because, um, you know, I feel like I've been hesitant on just getting, uh, just shoot when I'm open. And I feel like that doesn't. Um, it kind of messed up the flow of the offense when guys get me open, and I feel like I got to be ready to shoot it. So I think I just did a better job today. I just been ready when the ball came to me, and they did a great job of getting the ball to me when I was open. Rebounding wise, were you just tracking it well tonight? Yeah, I just, I mean, I just, you got a, they're a big group, you know what I mean? A long group, and you know, you got to come in and, and be ready to rebound and bang with those guys, because if you don't, they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you on the board. So just want to be ready for the, <laughs> want to be ready to rebound. With the big team they have, and people talking about your team being somewhat undersized, yet you and Bam both double-digit rebounds. Bam going right to Jared Allen for that dunk there. Was this the kind of thing of, of you guys sort of stepping up and showing, hey, this group can work against size? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I just think that, you know, that's with a, with a group like that at that size, and like you said, we're a little undersized. I think that's got to be the approach, but um, not only for them, but for everybody that we face. If we 
you know, come with that type of mentality and we come ready to bang with anybody, you know, we should be in good shape. We put ourselves in great position. And how gratifying is it to have the team that's right in front of you be as good as they are here in this place, but be able to get this W against them? And you can compound it with the way that you played here back in November as a team. Yeah, I just, um, I think that just shows a lot of growth for us and a lot of um, potential in our group, you know what I mean? And, we're, and how, uh, how well we can be, and how good that we can be as a team when we come ready to play. And um, um, just, we had, even though we had a still like a slow start, that it just shows you still we can come out with a W no matter where we play or who we play. Love the confidence and they believe it. Here's should be in three, two. I assume those are the finishes that you love the most, where you can lean on I your. Finished out my feet. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. First, your outfit is clean, as was the finish defensively in this game, which is, I know, what you like the most. Yeah, um, I love my fit. My aloe puffer, get it done, don't it? But back to basketball, I think whenever we garden at a high level, um, we're, we're really good. We still have lapses, but I'm, I'm glad that those lapses did not cost us a game tonight, and we got stops down the stretch whenever we needed to. How enjoyable is uh, a long overdue. We trusted Caleb, and Caleb we trust. Caleb for president moment that yeah. you like to have? Um, good for Caleb. Uh, he can score in a multitude of ways, running the floor, offensive rebound, um, cutting, uh, obviously shooting the tray ball. When he's like that, he makes us a lot better. I'm curious, though, if his brother was talking instead of him, you think you can know the difference? No. Exactly. See? You're always poised down the stretch, but how much do you think playing so many close games over the last year has rubbed off on teammates in terms of you all being poised in general down the stretch of close games? I think either way it goes, um, the more experience you have in any situation, <clears throat> the more comfortable and the better you're going to be. Uh, yes, we have been a lot of close games hell, for, for many years now, so anybody can take any shot. Anybody is there to get any stop. We know what it takes to win games, whether it's close, um, whether it's in the second or third quarter. we got to do that. But close games, maybe we're try, starting to get the hang of this thing. Jim, usually you take the temperature of a game as it goes along, but even Coach noticed when it started to get away a little bit, you really asserted yourself early. Did you just decide when it got to seven or eight, no, this is not going to happen tonight? We saw a lot more from you in the first quarters than we have in other games. Some other yes, games. yes, yes. Um, we talked about it setting the tone myself on both sides of the floor. Bam as well. And I think whenever I'm attacking, getting into the paint, um, it makes everybody else's job easier. I get to hit the open shooters, get a layup here and there, and um, not let the game get away from us. Unrelated to the excellent game tonight, even though it kind of was because you guys are close in the standings, just in general, the way that the league is competing this year and the way that everybody's honestly like in it still, uh, what do you think the reason behind that is maybe compared to previous seasons? Uh, honestly, I think it's because a lot of guys have missed games. You know, when you can't get a rhythm of who's going to be in the lineup, who's going to be out, different roles change from night to night. Um, we're a prime example of that. I think that's why, you know, teams are so up and down. But when guys get healthy and, and they get their guys back, I think it's going to start to look a lot different. At what point, Jimmy, will you start thinking about seeding? Will you ever? Is it something you, what you're aware of? Keep track of where you are? Me no care. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> With where you sat behind Cleveland in the standings, you're staying right at them. These games, and you're going to have some in March, and obviously in the first week of April, where you're playing the teams that you're adjacent to mean almost, I mean, it's still one game, but it almost feels like double in the standings. So how important is a win like this? Uh, it's very important for, for us, you know, coming off a loss in Charlotte and then coming into arena like this where they don't, they don't lose much at home. Um, I wouldn't say backs against the walls, but in a sense, it's kind of like that because, you know, coming off a loss, and this is this is a big game for us. Um, it was a great win. I thought we competed on both ends, and um, just an overall great win for us. On the season on the whole, you guys have a fantastic fourth quarter defense. What did you all call on in this fourth quarter that you needed? Uh, I think we switched up, you know, the coverages, you know, from zone to man, um, switching to blitzing just different things, throwing different looks at, you know, their guards and uh, making them make plays on the fly, you know, making the right reads, which is, is never easy, especially when, when Bam is out there. Um, so just making them, making them make reads and um, speeding them up a little bit and thought we, thought we rebounded, the well, rebounded the ball well at the end. And, um, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of adrenaline in a close games. 
does it get to you guys like, holy crap, here we are again? Or are you so into the game at the moment that you don't realize that every night it seems to be a three-point game in the last minute? Uh, you're talking to Tyler Hero. You don't feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we don't feel pressure. I mean, it's a big moment in a big game, but it's what we work for. Um, and at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want a competitive game against competitive players. Um, and, you know, we got that tonight. And it's just been the case for most games, but I think going into the playoffs, that's what we need. You know, we need to, to be in them situations so we're prepared for, for anything at the end of the year. Thanks. Thank you.